welcome back to my channel or welcome if you've never been here before. Got another nail video. I have been seeing these nails all over my Pinterest board. I have mainly seen the vibrant ones with the pink and the yellow and the white, which I think are super cute, but I want to do something that wasn't as common because I've seen those a lot. And I like earthy tones a little bit more, so I went for these. This is the reference picture. Just a little disclaimer, because I gotta say these in every video once in a while because people like to come for me. I am not a professional. I just have been doing my nails since sixth grade. I'm 20 now. I do dip nails. I'm showing you the whole entire process, all of my tips and tricks for how I keep my nails on for a long time. So if you want to see how I create these beautiful nails, please keep watching. I love you and I hope you enjoy the video. My nails are all ready to go, so we're just going to get into the application of the fake nail tips. I've already filed down my nails, I've pushed back my cuticles so they look super good for the end result. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be going in with some rubbing alcohol on a cotton pad. And what this does is it acts as a dehydrator and it gets rid of all the oil that's naturally just on your nails. So then when you apply the fake nail tips, it adheres to your nail way better. This step has made my nails last, I feel like two weeks longer. My nails last about three to four weeks. I usually take them off before that or I fill them or I change the design because I get really bored of my nails really quickly. But yeah, this step has really, really made a difference. I'm gonna go in with a buffer. I'm just gonna roughen up my natural nails a little bit because when you do this, it makes everything stick to your nails way better and it makes them last longer. I'm gonna be going in with my fake nail tips and before I actually apply them, pick out all of the correct sizes and I lay them out because I feel like that makes everything so much easier when you apply them. I got all of my nail tips. If they're a little bit bigger on the sides right here before you apply them, you can file them to your actual size. But for the most part, these nails actually kind of fit my nails perfectly. So, but if I see one that's like a little weird, I will go in and file the sides. I'm gonna go in with my favorite nail glue. I have used this nail glue, I think, in every single single nail video so far. It is by far my favorite. I have never used one that is better than this. It dries extremely quickly. If you have problems with putting your nails on straight and you need to kind of move them around, like wiggle them around in place, then definitely go with a different one. So I just put a drop in there and then I spread it around. I really get it on these corners right here because sometimes these can like lift up. And then I make sure it's straight with my knuckle. <laughs> taking my nail cutters and I don't really know what length I'm gonna do yet. I always usually go about here. The main ones that I've done in the past are coffin and almond shape. I've done oval sometimes too, but I've gotten a bunch of questions to do a tutorial on how I file my nails and I'm not quite sure on how to do a tutorial on how I file my nails because honestly it really just does take practice. So a tip that I have is if you want your filing to take less time and for it to be easier for you for coffin shape. So you can kind of get like the general shape and I don't like taking too much off because a lot of times I'll do too much and then the whole entire thing is ruined and it's very annoying. And you can do the same exact thing with almond shape and just round out the top of it or you can take little nail scissors and kind of like shape them with the scissors and then go in with a file. It does shorten the filing time a lot. <laughs> And the best way I can explain filing is make sure to keep your knuckles straight. Make sure to keep going like back and forth on each side so you don't file too much on one side and then you have to even it out even more. With coffin shape, just make sure to always have that center and make sure it's even on both sides. And if you're doing almond, make sure that very peak is always in the center. Just make sure to always take breaks when you're filing and like check your nail out. And that's probably the best advice I can give. There's not really much else I can tell you other than to just practice. This is one hand done, not fully done. If you ever get this on the bottom, and I actually did learn this from getting my nails done from professionals, they always would take a buffer and they just go like this under the nail. It just comes off. My nails are completely filed. And before I move on to my next step, I always compare all of my nails to make sure that they're the same length. I'm gonna go in with my buffer again. I'm gonna remove the shine on all of the fake nail tips.
I'm gonna go in with my nail drill and I'm just gonna go along this part a little bit get rid of the bump of the fake nail tip just so it's not as noticeable and it doesn't leave a weird lump when we apply the dip later <laughs> These are what the nails look like so far and now we are going to get started with the dip process. But before I go on with the dip, I'm going to be taking my rubbing alcohol on a little cotton pad again and I'm just going to be going on my actual nail. I kind of just did this as an experiment once and one thing that I noticed was if you have a problem with your dip, if they start to lift right here, like if you press right here and it starts to lift right here and like your hair gets caught in there and stuff, dehydrating the nail before you put on the dip, it has helped my nail not to lift near the cuticle so much. I use clear dip powder and this is the brand that I use. I have tried to find extremely cheap options for you guys that actually work and this has worked like pretty good. And then I get this kit base the activator and it comes with a top coat if you were just putting this directly on your dip but i have a different top coat that i use and then this is brush saver i've actually used this a few times and literally all i do is i will stick my nail art brushes in here and then wipe them off on a paper towel it actually works kind of good so i'm going to show the whole entire application process of how i do my dip and i've been doing it a bit differently my nails break off so easily especially if they're a little on the longer side what we're going to be doing is we're going to be focusing a lot of the product on the apex that's like the stress level of your nail so when your nail bends it's like all right here so if you put more product right there it's not gonna bend as much and you're gonna have more strength you're gonna take your base and I first apply it at the apex and I instantly dip it and I leave mine for about five seconds Tap the excess powder off. Just take like a fluffy brush and you lightly dust off the excess powder. Still focus on the apex area, but this time you're going to be taking it up all the way to the tip of the nail. And if you have lumps like this, this is totally fine because we're gonna even it out when we file after. I do wanna thicken it up a teensy bit right here. take it super close to the cuticle and you're gonna be taking this all the way up to the tip and now you can see that there's a little bit of a curve and that's exactly what we want so I'm gonna go and do this on the rest of my nails I'm going to set it in place with the activator I'm gonna be going in with my file and I'm gonna go along my nail like this just to make sure it's even and there's no lumps. This is my nail just with filing it. I'm gonna be taking my e-file really quick and just go across it just to really make sure that it's smooth and that there's no lumps on it. This is one nail completely filed. I'm gonna go do that to the rest of them. finished filing my nails that took like a million years. I'm gonna put the activator on one last time to really make sure they're sealed. I'm gonna go wash my hands, get all the extra powder off my hands, and then we'll be back for design. These came out so freaking good. They're like so clean. Always my first step to my nail art is I go in with a base. I only use gel nail polishes and then I cure them in my UV light. <laughs>
Yeah. Also, I have rings on that match them and I'm loving it. I have fallen in love with coffin shaped nails again. I was obsessed with almond and oval shape for the longest time and I didn't really like coffin shape. And then I did coffin last time and I don't know, I feel like they just like make my hands look super pretty. Not that long ago, I ordered poly gel. I wanna do a video on that. So if you guys want to see a video on poly gel nails, let me know. I'm thinking about buying the essentials for gel extension. So let me know if you guys would like to see that. and then. Comment down below anything else you would like to see from me. If you want to see certain designs, you can totally DM me pictures on my Instagram. Instagram is just Kaylee.boyle. And then I'm going to start posting little nail videos on my TikTok. And my TikTok is just Kaylee.boyle. If this is the first time you're seeing me, I don't only do nail videos. I only do these like once a month or once every few weeks because I just film every single time I do my nails now because people want to see it. I make lots of different content. Makeup videos, I make hair videos, I do vlogs. I kind of just film my whole entire life. So if you want to see more from me, you could subscribe the little notification bell thingy. I would really appreciate it. If I get this, you have to um, subscribe. That was first try. I don't know if you like the way I put my words together But I need you to stick with me just like some birds of feathers Or like birds to scales, hand in hand, dropping corn shit down the well Wish me well, wish me well, Hey, Always talking about the fishing scales, things that's gon' throw my mind off focus Probably what's gon' get my drug use more dosage Like I damn baby girl, I didn't think